talk to you about this course and then I will show you the promo video. The promo video right now, immediately, it's not available to the public. It will be available after like five minutes or so. So now it's available only to the members of my other channel. But there, is, there are no members of the other channel, so it's cool. Now, let's see what the course is about. It's about arms, hands and forms and a lot of exercises, how you do them. And of course, we have bent arm, two of them. One is like this, the other one is like this. Yeah, like this. One is like this and the other one is like this. It, you see how different these shapes here are, so that's what we're talking about there. Um, yeah, this is all the arms that we're doing in this course. So there are a couple of videos, uh, 19 videos to be exact, but we are doing this arms. So female arm, Hulk arm, arm from planes and other arms, some realistic, some a little bit stylized. So this is the promo video here. We will see it in a minute. These are some promo images and yeah, let's see the promo video and see what we're thinking about it. I'm not sure if it will be, by the way, it, we will hear it, but let's see. So you want to draw and sculpt beautiful prismatic areas and you think that this course will help you achieve that? I'm sorry to disappoint you, but this course is not for beautiful prismatic areas, but for arms and hands. Yes, it's a bit sad, but this course will teach you about arm muscles, shapes and all the tips and tricks sculpting arms and hands that I have learned for years. My name is Nico and I'm a 3D character artist and a teacher with more than 30,000 students in all my online TV courses. Mm. Also, thousands of subscribers on my two YouTube channels. I have over 15 years of experience in the game industry making 3D characters. I also have a lot of other courses from ZBrush to Blender, character creation and anatomy. In this course, we will start by learning about the base shape of the arm and hand and then adding and sculpting muscle groups over the arm bones one by one, creating whole arm. Following, we will do a little first experiment by making an arm in a chair. Then we will do the first exercise by making an arm based on different anatomy. After that, we will do realistic arm, arm with plane for better understanding of the main shapes of those arms. We will learn how to make bulky muscles. Then we will make a thin and gentle female arm. We will rest a bit by making a fist and then talking about all the things you should be careful when making it. Fist. We will then rest. make a folded arm with two positions of the palm. At the end, we will go over all that you have taught in the whole exercise course and make another arm. As a bonus, we will go through what connects the arm and the body. This course is for everyone who wants to top up their sculpting or drawing arm and hand skills. It can be followed with pen and paper, Photoshop, ZBrush, Blender or any sculpting or drawing program of your choice. I personally use Blender for making this course because it's free, absolutely free and amazing program. Let's dive into the world of arms and have fun with those exercises. So, you want to drink you want to drink beer and you think that course, this course will help you do that. I don't think so. But you can try. And watching this course and drinking a beer probably it's not the best use of your time, but you can try. Why not? Yes. Try. Why am I looking at the camera this way? How? I'm not sure. Okay. It's a little bit strange. Hmm? Because I'm not looking straight into the camera, I'm looking a little bit on the side. I don't know why. There's a little bit of speck of dust there and I'm looking at the speck of dust that I'm speaking to. So speck of dust, know that I'm speaking to you. You're lost. What? Amazing. Just, it, this was amazing experience. I, I'm just so excited. It's, it's just amazing. So, yeah. Does this course have any feedback sections? Uh, in this case, no, it doesn't have feedback sections, unfortunately. Unfortunately. What's your opinion on the new brush system that will be in Blender uh, 4.2? I'm not sure because I don't know about it. I have to probably see what you're talking about, but it, I'm curious. Nikolai Nidenov, Taki Himen, Bulgaria, and Emojit Bait. Bait. Privesti, Udashno, Slimak. Spasiba. What's happening? Amazing. Who is that guy? <laughs> Nobody knows. 
some guy. So this, by the way, are the results of the course. And uh, this is one of the first arms, which I made on a skeleton, as I do in the superhuman anatomy course, of course, working on the skeleton. But this time, we are putting every muscle separately, not every muscle, every muscle groups like the biceps, we are putting one mesh, triceps, one mesh, the shoulder, one mesh, the flexors, one mesh, extensors, one mesh, and the ridge muscles, brachioradialis and the other one, and I, I refer the brachioradialis and the other one at the ridge muscles, because the other one is, I'm not sure exactly, but it doesn't matter. What matters is that uh, we have to be able to sculpt them and draw them, of course, because I'm also drawing, since I can draw sometimes. Folded arms, everything, Hulk arm, yeah. And the most important thing, we have this reference sheet inside the project files. So <laughs> it's everything I could find about arms and hands. So this, for example, is from the new I don't think it's released yet. Anatomy for Sculptor's book about the forms of the hands and uh, the arm. I don't, I'm don't. i not sure exactly how it will be called, but it's in Kickstarter, I think it was. Uh, they will release it soon, I guess. These are some other things from Anatomy for Sculptor's other anatomies. This is some Chinese anatomy. Here very nicely explained how the, the, sh uh, the chest muscle is attached to the humerus. And how the brachialis is working, by the way, below the biceps. It's very, very interesting. So, a lot of things. How the arm is like a chain also here. And we are making arm from a chain also. We're making something like a chain and then making an arm from it. It's a lot of interesting exercises. But, you see, one disclaimer. Don't expect this course for me to speak only about the anatomy and everything because i'm speaking about anatomy i'm speaking about the shapes i'm speaking about how i understand the shape of the arm which is great but i sometimes speak about some other things as you know so you have to be prepared for that uh, because it's you know it, it, because i talk all the time if you are if i'm a normal teacher i would probably shut up for a couple of seconds like 20 seconds or 30 seconds while i'm doing something but i don't do that instead of shutting up I'm speaking about other things, about life or something. I'm not sure. So, yeah, I'm speaking about the anatomy, about the shapes, about how to draw, how to sculpt. But then I'm speaking also about other things sometimes, as you probably all know. It should be fine. Okay. Now, what we're going to do in this stream, nobody knows. We're going to sit here. <laughs> yeah. Congrats on the release, Nick. Thank you. I wasn't... I was uh, I haven't released the course in eight months I think at least so this is like like a big thing for me now hopefully I will start my the next course which suddenly unexpectedly will be some beautiful lady by the way I'm planning something for the discord I will choose three concepts and then I will post them in the discord and I will let people vote for which concept to be my next course of course i will take the vote into consideration but at the end i will decide which concept it will be but i will take the vote into consideration that's what i'm saying so the discord server is in the description of this video hopefully the link works because for some people it doesn't but we'll see so yeah uh, so uh, this is interesting anatomy think somebody asked me will you do a uh, legs anatomy course most likely not yes legs are not as important and also in my other channel the speed char i've done legs anatomy video one video which explains in most of the things that you need to know about leg how to draw how to sculpt legs overall shapes and muscles and everything so yeah i don't think legs are as important as hands and arms and faces of course so that's why i did the first i did the face sculpting exercises course because it's the most important the face for one character is the most important thing hands and arms are probably the second most important thing because if you do them wrong it's 
very very visible so this uh, this puref file will be in the project files of the course you will see a lot of muscular dudes here we are drawing over them to trace the muscles to see how the muscles from the anatomy books translate into the real world which is also a cool thing we have a relatively skinny guy compared to this guy we talk about how the muscles change when you lift your arm up a little bit and uh, it's oh, and my microphone is a little bit off but we will fix it it's fine now it's fine it's cool nico what studio you work in i worked in gameloft gameloft is a french company for mobile games and i was working there for over I think a little bit more than 15 years, 15 years in a couple of months, but now I'm not working anywhere. I'm just relaxing at home, paying attention to my family and uh, making streams and um, making courses. Hopefully we'll start making courses someday. Woman hands are difficult than men. It's not exactly, yeah, it, they are a little bit more difficult. We have a female hand in here, just behind in here. It's hidden because it's um, it's shy it's just a shy female hand but we have it it's here we have a hulk arm and in comparison we have a female arm by the way the female arm is uh, this is the reference that i'm using for the female arm because it's amazing sculpt i don't remember quite much the author of the sculpt some some of you probably know this guy recently he posted this in our station and i was amazed it's very nice and very cool and I said, okay, we can use it as a reference. It's pretty nice. So we have also those things here, which are not super arm related, but yeah, this is our reference for the Hulk arm. This is AI, so don't kill me. It's just, okay. It has some mistakes, but it's fine. We have some other artists here for the stylized. So yeah, we have a lot of things. We have the planes of the arm from here, from this image. The planes of the arm exercise and we are watching all of those you see how the chest is going into the humerus and this is the biceps attaching to the scapula not to the humerus interesting enough here is a scapula and then going up a lot of nice nice references i would say for our work so this stream i don't know what to do Ask me some questions so we can talk about some things. Otherwise, you know, I asked last time in regard to start anatomy sculpting, but what would be your recommendations of your courses if I start with sculpting in Blender? I have already knowledge about brushes, etc. So uh, my recommendation, if you want to follow the anatomy courses in Blender, is to learn Blender uh, as much as you can before. So first, the mouse or the rabbit course, which are absolute beginner course in Blender, courses in Blender, you can check them out. And then when you know Blender enough, sculpting and modeling, you can follow uh, the anatomy courses in Blender. So there's a female anatomy course, superhuman anatomy course, and face and head anatomy course exercises. And this one, the arms and hands. So yeah, what about the ha hands of kids, children? So the hands of children or babies, it's rarely, yeah, in my whole career, let's say I have, I had to try to, to make kids hands like two times or three times. I'm not sure. So it's not that common. So usually you should just take references and try to, to replicate the reference. But when you know the anatomy, it's not that difficult, you know? Soon we'll need a hand for one of my projects. Yeah, everybody needs hands on their projects sometimes. Hello, Nico. Uh, remember how to... Uh -huh. So uh, the program that I'm using for references is called Pure Ref. So this program, let's see if there's a about in here. Yes. So Pure Ref is the name of the program. And it's just superb. So you can put all those images. You can put even more. And then you just zoom in on the image, watch the reference, then the other one. Uh, it makes life so much easier. Back in the days, when we were younger, when I started uh, being a character artist, we didn't have that program. 
And that's why we always have two monitors. One monitor, you put your references in a Photoshop file, for example, and then you, and the other program you are working in the other monitor. So yeah, but nowadays you can easily work with one monitor thanks to this program. It can stay always on top. That's a setting, by the way. When you put that setting on, it stays always on top and it's pretty cool. Let's go to settings, key bindings, always on top is control shift A. So with control shift A, it will stay always on top. And when you want to close it, you just go to the bottom. You don't see it here, but to the bottom bar and just click and it will just minimize. Amazing stuff. Nico, big respect from India. You are the one of the best mentor on social media. Thank you very much. For organic mixed with hard surface, what apps do you use? ZBrush with Maya or just Blender? I myself, when I was using ZBrush, I was using ZBrush for everything. Organic and mm, hard surface, doesn't matter. ZBrush is super capable and you can do hard surface with no issues and it's very fast when you learn the Zmodeler brush. Zmodeler brush is the key to hard surface in Blender. Low poly hard surface. It's amazing. When you learn it, it's superb. So in my courses, I have courses that I show how to use this brush and uh, how to do everything in ZBrush. But now I'm using only Blender. So I, in my courses for Blender, I show how to do everything in Blender. Uh, you know, organic and hard surface combined. Everything. So if you use Blender, you don't need other programs, actually. If you use, except for texturing, probably Substance Painter. But if you use ZBrush, you also don't need other programs, except for retopologizing and fixing your model. I was, when I was using ZBrush, I was retopologizing my models in ZBrush by hand, using the ZModeler brush again. There is a way. In my other channel, I show how, uh, in one of the videos how to retopologize in Blender or manual retopology in Blender, something like this in uh, ZBrush. So yeah, in ZBrush you can do everything and also UV mapping in ZBrush is amazing. ZBrush is one of the best UV unwrap tools ever, in my opinion. But now I'm using Blender and I don't use ZBrush anymore. Mm, two, two reasons, of course, one reason is because Blender has much greater user database uh, user base, not database, but user base of Blender is much bigger, like maybe five times bigger than ZBrush, maybe more. So there are a lot more people that could watch my videos, which is great. And the second reason is that Blender is so amazing for me that in the beginning, I was just curious if I can do everything that I do in ZBrush, like all the models mm, from, from just from a sphere to make a whole model with clothes and everything only in Blender. I was curious and I was able to do it. And then I decided to just quit ZBrush. Why should I use ZBrush since Blender is that good and it's free? So it's, I don't think so, you know, ZBrush, especially nowadays when ZBrush is uh, either you pay monthly or you have to buy license every year. Back in the days, you buy ZBrush once and then you own it forever, which was great. Now for each update you have to pay, which is normal normal model but uh, you know when you get used to one model like paying once and then it's yours forever then when they change it it starts to bug you a little bit <laughs> animal anatomy course one day like a horse or tiger or something yeah i'm not that good in animal anatomy which i mean that i'm not doing animals every day so i don't uh, have this kind of practice if i have to do one animal anatomy someday course, I will have to practice certain amount of time. Probably I will do someday a horse anatomy. It's because horses are uh, very common when we're doing a character, for example, uh, a horseman, uh, a cowboy, or even a horse samurai. You need a horse, right? So yeah, probably we can do something like this someday. But the next one should be a uh, beautiful girl with uh, nice pose and everything and i will choose it based on how it will look like a figure on my uh on my drawer here with the figures you know i will choose it based on that <laughs> how it will look when it's like this this is my way of choosing the figures hello nico will you make a course about legs next mm, i'm not i i 
talked about this in the beginning. I don't do legs. Yeah, I made a course, not a course, just a video about legs and how to draw them, how to sculpt them in my other channel. So one video, in my opinion, is enough because legs are not as important. And even if you don't do them quite perfectly, it's not that problematic. Arms and faces, on the other hand, are problematic if you don't do them quite well. Is the Lobo course also the same like the Anatomy course? Because I have the mouse course, but I love the character Lobo. Huh. Uh, I don't know what you mean, same like the Anatomy course. Lobo is a course of making a character. Lobo, the character. So it has making a chain wrapped around his arm. It has making the weapon. It has uh, detailing the weapon. It has detailing uh, the, the clothes. It has a little bit of cloth anatomy. Mm, it has a little bit of uh, human anatomy, of course, because Lobo has huge muscles. And we talk about those also. It has face, facial anatomy, not so much because he has this huge green, huge mouth. Yeah, we have some hair modeling or sculpting and yeah, overall character course. Centaur course will be nice. <laughs> That's clear. Please make a detailed video on UVs and baking. UVs and baking, I made uh, a video in my course of commercial 3D game character in Blender. And this course is in my other channel, absolutely free. You can check it out. So that's where I do unwrapping, then UVs, then baking, everything is there. And all the problems that occur. But there are many, many problems that can occur, especially when you bake. When you bake, there are so many things that, that can go wrong and they usually do. So maybe in my professional experience, I have done more than probably 200 characters, maybe more. And every time, except for like one or two times I was lucky, every time I have some issues with the baking, I have to bake a couple of times. Sometimes I bake like 10 times, maybe more sometimes. Just baking, then see issues, fix something, then bake, then see another thing, fix it, then bake and bake. It's just, wow, amazing stuff. <laughs> Would you ever do a course on hair cards? For example, furry dog cat. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I hate hair cards. This is something that I don't particularly like. I tried to do hair cards back in the days. It was a disaster because I don't have too much experience with them. Probably if I do hair cards every day or every week, at some point I will be super efficient and I will do amazing hair cards pretty quickly. But I don't do so, no. Man, I love your work and your art. Thank you. Why you didn't use the crack? Of ZBrush for always and don't pay it monthly. Mm, I did. I did use the cracked ZBrush, uh, but uh, at some point I decided to pay for ZBrush because I was making money with ZBrush. I was making courses for ZBrush. They were making me money. I was making freelances. I was working in the studio. Of course, the license for the studio is their license. So I paid for the ZBrush, but uh, at some point I decided to go to Blender, you know. Hi, your life is awesome. No, this one is not as awesome as the other ones, but still, because we are not sculpting too much. When will this course will be launched? It's launched today in our station. You can see links in the description. Uh, link to the course in our station. You can see it in the description. First thing in the description, you can see it. So if you click there, let's click there and see what happens. So we click and this happens. This is the course in our station. In Udemy, you can also buy it. The link for the course in Udemy, you can uh, see it in the Discord server. In the Discord server, you go to course links and there is a link with the promo code. By the way, buying in Udemy, for example, you want to buy the course in Udemy, which is great. But buying from this link, will, I will take most of the money. For example, this will be around $12 uh, dollars or $13 dollars. and buying from this link, I will get like $10 dollars from it or something. If you buy from uh, directly from Udemy, uh, if you just search for the course and find it in Udemy and buy it from there, sometimes I get like one or one and a half dollars from, uh, from the money that you pay. You pay like $12 again or more and 
I get like one or two or three, five, something like this. It depends. So yeah, that's uh, about the, the thing. Link for the server, for the Discord server is in the description of this particular video, I think. But you have to find it. It's a little bit hidden. It's a little bit below. Do you do likeness? I don't quite do likenesses. I can do likenesses, probably, but I'm not super good at it because, you know, uh, likeness requires patience. As you can see, I'm speed char, so I'm doing very speedy sculpts and this doesn't require patience. I'm not a patient person. I'm, I'm not that patient, you know. I like everything to, to, to happen very quickly. That's why this style of speed sculpting fits me the best because it's my style. I know people who are better than me in character creation. They're creating amazing characters. They're twice as slow as me. They're very slow, but meticulous, and they're spending the time, they're knowing their anatomy, they're knowing uh, working from concept, they're knowing everything, rendering better than me, and they're just working slowly. And yeah, I, I will do something for, let's say, 10 hours, they will do it for 20 or more hours, the same thing, but then they will continue and make it better and better after that. I will leave it at the 10 hours and I will go to the next one. This is just my style. Which one of these you find more challenging to sculpt? Arms versus legs. Legs for me are more challenging because I haven't done too much legs back in the days. When I was young, I was drawing mostly uh, busts of people. I was drawing faces and then arms and then a little bit of a body, but up to the waist. And then down, uh, rarely I was drawing legs. That's why just my model, my uh, when, I, when I was growing up, legs are a little bit more difficult, but I decided to learn them. So I am pretty good at making legs right now, but uh, I don't completely like doing them, especially the feet. It's bad. But I do that. Nico, where can I send you my 3D work? I'm interested in your opinion. Greeting from Serbia. Uh, you can send it in the Discord server. Maybe. Why not? Hello, Mr. Sir. Nice arms. <laughs> Thank you. Do you have any tips about work hours? So what I mean is how did you learn 3D in the beginning? Because after one or two hours, I'm so tired because of so much information. Yeah, in the beginning is always difficult. In the beginning is always difficult. You have to probably rest. So spend time learn for one or two hours then rest a little bit let the information sink in then go again and try to practice what you have learned for those initial two hours for example then practice it for another two hours and then try to learn more and practice more practice this is how you do it it's you know and you know if you don't have pleasure while doing sculpting or drawing or whatever if you don't get pleasure from the process itself, then probably it's not exactly for you. But in order to understand if you uh, are taking it like, uh, if you um, feel nice about it, you have to do it for at least, in my opinion, 200 to 400 hours you have to spend into this to see if it actually fits you. You're a sculpt god, love from India. There are a lot of sculpt gods, so I'm one of them probably. I'm one of the sculpt gods, I'm not the sculpt god, you know. So yeah, if you consider gods to be many gods, yeah, maybe I'm one of them, so why not? <laughs> one little god, you know, because there are much bigger gods than me. Uh, you will see in our station, for example, you see it, you go into trending and you see those amazing sculpts in trending in our station. That we are just, uh, you know, just so good. Let's see if the course is in trending, by the way, in our station. I don't think so. Maybe it will not go to trending this time. Usually it goes to trending, but now it's not. Because there is a promotion and it's just some arms. And you see a lot of super nice things. For example, this is a Turtle Ninja. Not bad. The render is a little bit uh, dark. It could be a little bit better, but... It's pretty cool anyways. This one, amazing sculpt. This guy is a sculpt god, we may say. Uh, Reinaldo Garcia. So, yeah. 
this very nice stylized uh, model. Only the high poly probably is this, but it's pretty cool. So a lot of very nice things with nice presentations. And that's the idea. You know, just making a nice model is not enough. You have to make a good presentation. And most of those guys here on trending, they have very nice presentation skills. Uh, the course is not in trending, uh, so yeah, it's pretty sad, but still, probably not many people are liking it. Let's see how many people are liking it right now. Yeah, you can go go ahead and like the this this post here because it has only thirty likes, so it's just you know sad. It's a sad, sad course. But you see, I'm not expecting this course to have too many, too many, too much attention because it's just arms. The face and head anatomy course exercises was uh, much more desire desirable in my opinion. This one is just uh, useful, I think. Which, if you want to learn how to do arms, I think it will be useful for you. Other than that, not so much. But yeah, uh, every character artist needs to make nice arms, in my opinion. A lot of amazing sculpts in here, and also drawings, by the way. Concepts. But these days, it's difficult to know that if this concept is with a little bit of help of the AI, for example. It could be. We don't know anymore. I've seen this, by the way. This is... Uh huh. Okay, okay. And this is, this is a concept. Okay, but I've seen it before. I'm not sure. It's from League of Legends. That's why. This is a 3D, by the way, and it's wow. Uh, the only thing I don't particularly like too much about this is the black background because it's a little bit too black. You know, maybe if it was some kind of a white even, it would be much more con contrasting and we would see the character a little bit better but other than that it's just wow this guy is so good let's see his other works wow very nice things i think we saw him in the discord uh, in the our station reviews i think but i'm not sure very very nice he deserves uh, those uh, many likes that he has. His style is to make this kind of uh, animations, just idle animations of the characters. And this has 3000 likes. This character has 3000 likes. This one will have probably the similar amount, but the background should be changed in my opinion. This one, you see how it's contrasty. You see everything. You see the contours of the character here. The contours of the character are kind of visible, but not so much. So, yeah. I would say brighter background will be amazing for this character. But yeah, you see, uh, you go to our station and you find so many sculpting gods there. Yeah. Hi, Nico. I use... I use left hand to use stylus. Can you tell me anything to switch between keyboard and stylus smoothly? I'm not sure. When you use left hand, you will need a bigger desk, in my opinion, because, you know, when I'm using my left hand for the keys, and most of the keys that we use in Blender, uh, especially, are in the left side of the keyboard. So with the left hand, it's easier. And on the right is my tablet. So left keyboard, right tablet. When you switch them, I don't know about that. It's difficult. Nico, is practice more important or study more important to be good at anatomy? Both. You study and practice at the same time. Will you do photorealistic character? Maybe someday we'll see. Not exactly super photorealistic, but kind of realistic, maybe game realism, something like this, which I do. I don't do completely photorealistic characters. I have never done. Except for one in my portfolio, by the way, yeah. If you have noticed, there is not one, but couple there in my portfolio, but I don't usually do it. So let me show you which one I mean. Um, this guy, the first Bulgarian, um, this guy, by Stamat. This guy, by the way, uh, resembles the first Bulgarian uh, cosmonaut, 
the cosmonaut is uh, Aero Space Spaceman. The first, the first Bulgarian Spaceman uh, looks like this with the, almost the same mustache. That's why I did this guy like this. This is for one of the games uh, in Gameloft. But uh, yeah, it's kind of realistic. But you see, this particular image is a lot of Photoshop in the face. So the mustaches are Photoshop and uh, some of the face features are Photoshop. It's not exactly like this in the 3D. So yeah, it's fake. It's kind of fake, but it works. It was a promo image. This one is not completely realistic. It's a little bit like game realism again. So I always do game realism. This one, where is this one? Oh, this one. This one is kind of realistic, but again, uh, game realism. It's not complete realism. This one also looks a little bit realistic, but again, game realism. As I don't do complete realism. And those characters are mostly, they're only for renders. They're not for anything else. They were done only high poly, not low poly and anything. And you see all of the characters that I have done are kind of game realism or stylized or slightly stylized or super stylized like uh, Captain uh, Fennec, for example. So yeah, that's what we're talking about. Can you make a large pines, please? I don't know what is this large pines. Nico, are you still working for Game of? Not for a year and a half now, I don't work for Game of. Brother, can you show us how to find good reference for sculpting? Good reference you can find in Pinterest mostly. In Pinterest are the best references. You just write something and then follow the, uh, the lead of Pinterest. It's very, very nice. How many time for learning character design? Character design is something that people are mistaking for character, 3D characters. You know, 3D characters, usually, we are using concepts. And the character design actually is made by the concept artist. So we don't do this. We do character, 3D character creation. We are making the concept in 3D. But character design is something that's uh, a little bit probably more difficult. You have to know anatomy, you have to know uh, clothes, you have to know colors, you have to know many things to be concept artist, for example, and to draw the characters that we, after that, make into the 3D. And it's uh, years and years of experience usually, except if you use AI. Then you can be an AI artist, which is cool, and then an AI, AI artist uh, you can be very quickly very quickly everybody can be everyone can be ai artist but uh, i don't recommend it quite but it's fine everybody can decide for themselves hello nick did your course of the rabbit character scope i did your course i'm not very fast but my wife don't like it so much i'm now very fast but my wife don't like it so much. yeah yeah when you get so fast so i don't recommend getting as fast as me in everything because then your wife will suffer and you will suffer by that, you know. What's the difference between a stylus and a mouse? Uh, huge. A mouse is just your mouse. Everybody has mouse uh, in their computer. The stylus is with a tablet. You use it. It's like a pen. And you use it like drawing. Just drawing or writing. It's much more... Actually, it's a lot better than uh, in sculpting. Especially with the, uh, you know, let me show you, by the way. I can show you, why not? Let's add a sphere. Put it here. Put here this sphere. Go to scope mode. And remesh it a little bit. And so, now, if we draw on the sphere like this, I can draw very lightly. I can draw hard if I want. With the mouse, you can draw only one way. You, you cannot do slight things or hard things. You can do only just one pen pressure. So the pen pressure of the stylus is one of the things. But the other thing is that while drawing like this or using the stylus like this and sculpting like this, you are less likely to get tendovaginitis, in my opinion. And also, you have a better control over the scope. That's also a thing. 
I love Freddie Mercury. Thank you very much. What's the difference between a stylus and a mouse? Yes. Can you make a colon with little pin worms and tape worms in them? Probably not. Nico, did you also work with Marvel's designer? Yes, I have worked with Marvel's designer a couple of times, but I don't use it that much. It, it's not needed for stylized characters that I do. Bro, how much do you charge for a 3D model for 3D printing? It depends on the complexity of the character. If it's very complex, I can charge up to $3,000. But it, it has to be very complex. Usually I don't do this kind of complex uh, characters because they take a, lo a long time. Um, yeah, it can be from even from $100. It depends if it takes me like two hours. Why not? How long does it take to reach such a level? For me, it took, let's say, 15 years or something, or 10 years. What's next for you, Nico? Uh, how that your ARM course is done? Now that my ARM course, course is done, mm, probably I will do another course. I, I, I talked about that. I will find uh, at least three concepts of uh, some girls with some weapons, some action poses, we'll see. And I will post them in the Discord server and I will ask people which one they would like to see in my next course. And we will see how it will go. I see you don't use the Dino Topo a lot. Why? I don't like it. I've been sculpting with a mouse only for about two years. Yeah, you can sculpt with the mouse. You can get used to it also. But I don't think this is the way to do it. All professionals are using stylus and there is a reason. I bought a Wacom graphic board and I'm very satisfied. That's cool. Is it necessary to be able to draw to, to sculpting? It's not necessary. It's, it's good if you can draw. If you can't, it's fine. You can sculpt. But, but of course you have to learn everything that uh, the guy who was drawing before, he already knows. So it will be more difficult to start sculpting nice things without prior, prior drawing, drawing knowledge. How long will it take to transfer to styles? It depends how much time you, you devote on it every day. To transfer from a mouse to stylus, you have to try the stylus and work with it. Try to work with it. In the beginning, it will be try. But try to work with it for like three or four hours every day for about uh, one or two weeks. And then probably you will get used to it. It's just about practice, like almost everything. Hi, Pichar. I love you. Can you make a large cook next? I don't know what is this cook. But it's cool. Nico, what learning path do you recommend for those looking at your courses? Uh, follow the courses. That's a good path. And practice with the course. I mean, not watch the video and then try to replicate it. But actually, while watching the video, try to sculpt with me. And I think this is the best. Good morning, Nico. Hello from Brazil. And congratulations for this new course. Thank you. 15 years, I still have a long way to go. Yeah, but you can do it faster if you devote more time into it. So, yeah. AI harmful for 3 years test? Yeah, no. Uh, is artificial intelligence you are asking harmful for 3d artists not yet and i don't see it harmful in the future in the near future for example is the ai harmful for the 2d artists not so much because the big companies especially not the small ones the big ones they restrain of using the ai for their concepts for the work that you that they have to show somewhere because it can be a problem for the legal department and for now so uh, in the 3d we'll see we'll see how do you feel about your courses being torrented i feel good about my courses being torrented you know when somebody is buying my courses from the torrents so downloading them they probably will not pay money to watch them anyway so why should i care i mean it's fine especially uh taking into consideration that when i was younger when I didn't have money, I was torrenting a lot of courses and other things. So, uh, how I can be against it since I was doing the same when I was learning myself? It's fine. What kind of character that you make a lot of detail and lo how long does it take to finish? How long did it take to finish? It depends. A very complex character for me, it could take up to 50 hours. Only the high poly, only the high poly. 50 hours is a long time. It's a pretty long time. 
uh, and I'm fast, so if it takes 50 hours, it's a pretty complex character. Then low poly and everything, it will take a huge amount of time. So yeah, I don't quite do too much detailed characters, super detailed. But for a course, I probably could do one very detailed one. We'll see. How do you use a keyboard shortcut when you use a stylus? Easy. My keyboard is in front of me and my tablet is on the right. It's on the right of me. So in front of me is my keyboard. On the right is my stylus. I have long arms, so I can do it. It's not a problem. Is sculpting become your second nature? Yes. Make yourself next lol. Eh, maybe not. We'll see. Okay, guys, this will be for today. This was just to announce the course, to show you what is in the course and to advise you to buy the course from Udemy from my link here, this one, with the coupon code FIRSTBLOOD. Uh, always when I release a course, on the first month of the course release, uh, the code for Udemy is FIRSTBLOOD. Yeah, That's uh, something like a tradition already. Okay, can't wait for the course. Yeah, the course is already there, so you don't have to wait. Bye for now, and see you. Character topology, why? I don't, I, I do it, but uh, I have a course about it. Yes, okay, let's answer one more question about the character topology. Let me show you, if I can, the course. So, if we write in, um, let's, 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 here, let's write uh here 3d commercial game okay you see this is my course creating a 3d character for commercial game series you go there to my channel and this is the promo i think no this is episode one so this is the first episode there are uh, 38 episodes some of them are 30 minutes some of them are more so uh, around 20 something hours of content you have it all in youtube there is modeling there is unwrapping there is uh retopologizing everything is in here you know retopology left arm retopology head retopology a lot of retopology so don't tell me that i don't do this i do this and it's free in YouTube. You can buy it also if you want to support me, but just if you want. I watch a sculpting skill, but I couldn't catch up with you. Maybe I use mouse for sculpting. Maybe. Arm and hands, let's go. Let's do this. Okay. Bye for now and see you in the next one. We should do our station review someday, by the way. <laughs> we have to catch up. <laughs>